welcome back to our channel. This is Jessica, wife and mom of the Barbie gang, and today you're gonna learn how to make my delicious Southern style pork neck bones. Okay, so what we have is our pork neck bones are clean and ready to be seasoned. So to get that delicious Southern style flavor, you wanna start out with salt and pepper, season all, garlic powder, onion powder, red pepper flakes, and my special twist, a dash of thyme. Next, we're gonna prepare our crock pot, which we will be using to cook our pork neck bones. And I'm starting out with about an inch of water, and I'm adding in one cup of chicken stock, or you can use chicken broth. Once I've poured that in, I'm gonna add in my neck bones and I'm gonna top it off with a drizzle of vegetable oil. If you're from the South, you know you can't make a good pot of neck bones without a little bit of onions, and I'm also gonna add in some red peppers. So I'm slicing them thin, thinly chopped onions. I'm not gonna dice them, just gonna slice them up real thin and add them into the pot. For our last steps to cook our pork neck bones, we're gonna add in about a quarter cup of white vinegar and we're gonna top off our pot with a little bit of flour, which is gonna help the juices start to make a gravy as the pork neck bones cook over several hours. Now I want you to turn your crock pot heat up to high, close that lid, and we're going to simmer and cook our neck bones for four hours. We're about halfway through the cooking process. So, so far, this is what the neck bones look like. I just stirred them. They look really juicy. That's gonna be from the oil. So yeah, we just wanna leave them to continue cooking. And it looks like we're gonna be having a late night dinner tonight. <laughs> right, honey? Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna close them back up and then I'm just gonna let them cook the rest of the way. I'm not going to open up, stir anymore. One good stir is enough. I'm putting the lid back on. And just let it finish cooking. We'll check back in a bit. All right, it's been four hours. Your pork neck bones are juicy and delicious and ready to be plated. I suggest pairing them with white rice or potatoes of your choice. We're gonna go ahead and just plate the neck bones right over top of the rice. Pick any bones that are coming off the meat. Just use some tongs, take those bones right out. The meat is very tender and juicy right now, so it's normal for the bones to have separated from the meat during the cooking process. And for our final step, we're gonna pour a little bit of that neck bone juice over top of your neck bones and rice. I like to pour a generous amount. You can pour as little or as much as you'd like. Your neck bones are gonna be tender, juicy, and delicious. This meal is perfect for family and friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did. Subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell so that you don't miss our next video.